This is Lineage OS Android 11. I kinda have mixed feelings about this release. So far, I have reviewed four releases of Lineage OS Android 10 from constakank.com, and most of the previous releases performed well on a micro SD card. This one, however, gave me a little bit of trouble using the SD card. My first SD card got corrupted after the third reboot, but I think that is just a coincidence. The micro SD card has seen better days and one last format may just be the straw that broke the camel's back. My second problem was that the screen keeps going blank randomly. This is not an attempt to diminish the hard work put in this project. It's just my experience. I always appreciate positive forward movement. Things get a little better after using an SSD. With the SSD, I didn't experience the problem with the screen going blank and so far no crashing issues. It appears to be stable and as you can see here, all the apps are very responsive and YouTube videos play really nice. If this is something you plan on considering, I would say go for it but keep in mind that hardware, video decoding and encoding are not available yet. If you head over to the website, you will see that everything that was working on Lineage OS 17.1 should still work in 18.1. There is only this new addition that I highlighted here in yellow. The installation process is not different than before. As I have shown you in my previous videos, you will need to get a copy of Lineage OS 18.1 from the website flash it to a micro SD card or SSD using Balena Etcher or Raspberry Pi Imager. If you are using an SSD, you will need to edit the config file located in the boot partition and uncomment the USB line and comment out the SD card line. This will allow booting from an SSD. The installation process will guide you through all the steps once that's complete, you will need to head back over to the website and get this file which will allow us to access Google Play Store. A few things have changed since I tested this installation. I struggled a little bit to find bit gaps. The only way I know how to find it is by googling the file name. If what you are seeing here matches what you have, you may go ahead and download it. But please always keep in mind that this is an ongoing project and things constantly change. What worked for me today may not work for you the next day, for example. After getting the file, you will need to boot to recovery. As always, we will need to enable developer options. Once that's done, we can go ahead and search advanced and enable advanced restart. Press and hold the F5 key on the keyboard and wait to see the restart menu on top. Click on restart and you should see a recovery. What we can do at this point is go to install and look for bit gaps that we downloaded earlier. Select it, swipe the confirm flash, wipe Dalvik, swipe to wipe and reboot the system. As you can see here, playing movies or videos from YouTube is not a problem at all. It all works. Again, keep in mind that this is using an SSD. I have not had much luck using a micro SD card. I also tried WhatsApp, but as you will see at the end of this video, it didn't quite work. This will be it for this video. As always, thank you for watching. Catch you in the next video. Thank you.